It's Ask the Judge time once again, and today Judge Larry Thorne joins us for one of our most popular segments and exciting. Good to see you today. Good to see you too. It's a gorgeous day out there. We right have now. a lot to cover today. Yes, we so do. So we're going to jump right in. The first question from one of our viewers: I accidentally swiped a parked car, but didn't realize it. What should I do now? This is going to be. I'm going to turn this around. This is the judge asking them question. One, how did you not know that you ran into another car? Two, um, how is it that you found out that you ran into the car? And three, when did that happen? When did you find out? Uh, this isn't a really good thing. I mean, somebody must have seen this or your license plate uh, was taken by somebody mm -hmm. who saw you do it. You need to contact the person. Go back to the scene, contact the person, and then contact your insurance company mm -hmm. and uh, have your insurance company deal with this uh, because you do not want to get a hit and run type uh, ticket, uh, which could be worse than right. Not Some good advice with this. in the days of cell phones too, yes. with lots of people well, taking videos. Pictures, yes. Might be a, just to go back to the scene first Absolutely. and maybe ask a few questions there. Absolutely. Okay. Well, our second question. I canceled my gym membership a long time ago. The gym just sent me a bill for two hundred dollars for not paying. I'll call them, and they seem to have lost my cancellation papers. What can I do? This is a difficult situation, uh, but it should be, a, again, so much of what we talk about are contractual matters. And normally uh, on these uh, memberships, you sign a contract. In the contract, it should state the ways that uh, you can cancel or they can cancel you. Mm -hmm. And so if you can't prove that you follow the contract and you uh, submitted some kind of cancellation form if it was a month-to-month -month, uh, deal contract then you may get stuck with two hundred dollars mm. uh, it may end up uh, in a small claims court so they may end up suing you if you just say look I did it I know I did it look I can uh, called you on the phone I can trace and that you back. may have maybe a credit card receipt or a banking sure. statement but it's always good to make Make yourself a copy. Copy, right, right. But they're going to have to prove that uh, they did cancel it or they may be stuck. Okay. Well, you know, we have uh, some great things for people who yes. may need some legal advice. There is a uh, free legal advice uh, hotline, correct? Yes. Our award-winning Jefferson County <laughs> Bar Association. Absolutely, folks. Uh, we in Jefferson County are lucky. Our Bar Association is wonderful. And... Uh, we have that free legal line, and I believe they're going to put the information up. The, I believe there it's it up right, right now. Right. Take advantage of it, folks. Take advantage of it. You don't have to wait for me. You can call these don't folks. Don't wait for Wednesday. Yeah, for this don't segment, wait for Wednesday. Huh? Call these folks and take advantage of it. It's a wonderful program. Bonnie Dean is head of the bar, and she's a wonderful uh, person, and, and make sure that this goes off without a hitch and gets the great lawyers. So do it. Call. Okay, and is there another event? Yes, free legal advice for vets, uh, and that's up on the screen now. Uh, this is a new program. It's wonderful. I hope the vets uh, take advantage of it. Uh, right. I know that there's many vets that are having problems, that uh, don't have funds, have uh, psychological problems, medical problems, everything under the sun. Call this number try to make an appointment and we will have this all posted on our website thank Very you so much good. judge thank for you. joining us and if you have any questions for our ask the judge segment send them to 12newsnow.com we'll be right back